back. Welcome back. Okay. Where are we going? Any Anyone not here? Fred, I'm not here. <laughs> Oh, everyone is here. Right? Paul's back? Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. I'm back. Yeah, I told you he wasn't here. Was it a little... Okay. Sorry, one moment. I forgot to do something. I forgot to put something on the map real quick. My bad. Uh, balance. I'm ready in action for if something comes out of there. Thunder? Oh. Yeah, ready in action. I will, uh, ready one as well to play whack-a-mole. Crib? Same. I'm going to increase the, uh, rate that these things are coming out to two around now. Hey, does it look like if we fell the tree, it would seal the hole? Um, as of this point, a lot of the marsh water is starting to pour into the hole. Okay. And I accidentally put these guys on the GM layer. So I'm going to move them to the token layer. So at the end of every round, two more are going to... Come out until you have killed all 11, or until you leave. So, unfortunately, this is tedious. So, as they move out, can I fire and move, is what I'm asking. Since I held. Uh, yes, we're going to go back to all held actions. So, Valence, you proc. All right, so I wanted, before this one gets within closing distance, I wanted to fire. Uh, they're coming out at the same time. Here. And I will fire. You will get an attack of opportunity. That's what I was trying to avoid. If they're coming out, as soon as I see them come out, I wanted to fire and move. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, and I'll allow that to happen this round and this round only. Next round, there will be two coming out Wait, on the block. Valence is retreating? No. That I assign them to. So, yes. Go on. Okay, and then... So so the first one you're going to shoot at is actually the one closest Aren't you a rogue with sneak attack? He's a warlock. Oh. Who can do roguey things. Exactly. <laughs> He's multi-class piece of crap. 20 hits for 7 points of force damage. And again, I'm going to assume that's the one closest to you, since that would have been the first one yep. out. Under? I'll swing at that same one. What? Today, Junior. All right, I'll swing at it. Hits for seven more points of damage. Under? Oh, z zombie doesn't get to go. Kriv? I attacked the one between Sleestack, my stalwart companion. These hellish creatures must be destroyed! We will cleanse all evil from this horrible place. Shut up, evil! Damn it. 12. Hits. For oh, 12 hits. Of damage. You have advantage. Yeah, the 12 is pretty bad. So. If I still hit? If I still hit? Yes. Okay. Top of the rounds. I'm going to put you in front of the zombie this time. Oh, we're not Thank in front you. of Ander. Sleestack. I will raise the war hatchet up again. Be mute, villain! <laughs> Dampthosaurus. Hits for another 8 points of damage. You are whittling him down. Ariana.
here. I'm gonna do um, fire bolt. On which one? The one that's closest to me. Okay. Valence. Yeah, valence. Nice. Nice. Two points of damage, continuing to wreak havoc upon the undead. Val uh, valence. Same one. Miss. Actually, he's got an eight armor class. He miss. Under. Okay, keep on hitting the thing in front of me. Or that one. Ten. Enough damage to potentially kill it. I need to roll a 20 to live. Yay! And <laughs> he is dead. These guys aren't as good at making their saves. He only survives when Kriv hits him. Be gone, evil! <laughs> dude! <laughs> evil dude. <laughs> Kriv. Alright, well. I will, um, I'll bring my morning star, morning star up this time and try to crush his bottom jaw up through his brain. I smite thee! Thirteen hit! Needing a 21 to live. Ooh, Ooh, I killed one! <laughs> the creature. Killing it. End of the round. Two more show up. Andre, you need to move. Yeah, actually, I do, huh? Slee stack. Uh, let's see here. This is a better position to fight these things, so you guys did well coming here. Enjoy tranquility, <laughs> vicious thing! 17 hitting for a massive 11 points of damage. Ariana. Firebolt again on the same guy. Burning its undead flesh for six points of damage. Uh, that same zombie that is getting torn to pieces has two targets. Has three targets. Turns on Kriv. Missing. I bet it's fatal. Swing away with my shield. Shut up, evil! Nothing else is going to eat me, damn it! <laughs> Hitting the one closest to you, correct? Yep. Doing ten points of eldritch fo eldritch force, under that same one. Shut up, evil dude! <laughs> <laughs> yes, make it your own. Not. Like that. Oh. Uh, the same one. Uh, Valence just hit. Yeah. Hitting it in its back oh. for five points of damage. Kriv. Okay. As I bat that feeble one away, I I swing out my morning star and uh, catch it right in the rib cage, trying to trying to move it upwards and rip out its rib cage with a with a backward thrust. Twenty. Hitting. For five points of damage, I must roll a 15 or higher to live. Yay! As I killed two! <laughs> you hit it. I'm finally it killing these bastards. It lifts off the ground, vertical in the air, Yay. <laughs> as it falls behind Sleestack on its head as it is lifted off the ground. Dead. Do I get like that that anime slow spray of bones as I pull my arm back up? Exactly. <laughs> and I, I, I tried to do the frame by frame with the zombie token t turning. That was awesome. Screen. I like that. I, I hear the sound effect. Dun, 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 dun. 
Uh, one slee stack, two under. Two under as the zombie net left of you turns. Missing you with an eight. At the end of the round, two more appear. Uh oh, Anders flanked. Slee stack. Uh, I will raise the war hatchet up against the one between me and my Kimosabi. Look around, realize that I'm out of synonyms, and just come down. <laughs> <laughs> and just come down with the war hatchet. With a grunt. It's like, fuck it. Oh, yeah. oh. Boom. Yeah. You made it your own, man. Oh. Transcended. I'm so proud. Three rolls, ones and twos. Um, nope. So you do 14 points of slashing damage. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. I think I have a app for this, too. Do, 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 do. What did I just remembered? I am going to do Savage Attack, which gives me an extra D8 on a critical hit. So three more points of damage. Oh, that's right. Nice. Nice, dude. Wait, As... was that one, twos, and threes I get the reroll? No, just ones and twos, I thought. Oh. Okay. I'll double check. Ones and twos. Ah, shit. As now I can't get it off my screen. There it goes. Uh, again, <laughs> a, a grievous hit doing 17 points of damage with a fucking hatchet. <laughs> it's a war hatchet. Come on. Yes. Uh, Slee stack, Ander, Kriv, in that order. Ander, uh, the one that just took the grievous blow from Slee stack, some, for some reason decides that you are a tastier morsel. And he quickly misses. <laughs> <laughs> He chose poorly. You strike yourself slightly on your backswing and take D8 damage. <laughs> uh, maybe yeah, he kills uh, himself. Taking five points of damage, which is enough to potentially kill himself. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Sweet. He needs a 15, and he lives, dropping to one point of damage. No. Unable to even kill himself. Ariana. <laughs> Can't even do that. Another firebolt on the same. Wait, wait, hold on. I hear whispering in the back. Shh. <laughs> That's not me. Okay, I'm gonna do shatter. Oh. And I'm gonna revolve it around them. Thank you, Paul. I mean, Mandy. <laughs> Excuse me. Shatter. 3d8 thunder damage on everybody. Okay, the one I'm going to go uh, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. No, it's 10-19. Uh, Are you able to shape that? or? Yes. He's dead anyway. Oh. The, the one's only got one hit point left, so it don't matter. That's a very good point. He fails anyway, though. It does matter because he's got a save. And the more damage he takes, the higher his save is. Okay, so all of them fail. The first one t needs to make a 28, which is not possible. He did. Uh, the second one takes 18 points of damage, as what is left of his ears explodes <laughs> as you see gray matter um, start to run down the sides of his skull. Uh, the other also takes 18 points of damage, essentially making his save impossible also. So you kill two of the three. And that's how it's done, boys. That's a Sleep. calling card. Sleep Balance. With his, his eardrums were blown out. Is she going to keep talking? <laughs> this one's not, still alive? Not Wonderful, great, really. Aliana! Yes. You are an asset to our group. That one, obviously. As all eyes stare at Valence's ass chaps as you say that. This could be a new look for me. 
<laughs> I shall embrace it. Uh, 15 hitting for 10 points of damage. I'm required to make a 20 DC save. Uh, effectively ending this creature's second life. Ander, I'm I'm assuming you and Kriv are going to hold your actions for end of the round when the two oh, yeah. approach. Okay. The last yep. two. And, yeah, I was going to say, the, when is this going to be over? <laughs> there are 11 of these things that were yeah, down so below. two left. Okay, the one underneath Slee Stack. I'm gonna tee him up with my driver. <laughs> with your nutsack? <laughs> yeah. Four! Four what? Oh! <laughs> oh Chris! We suck at golf. We are seeing the end of this evil. This evil that has crawled out like oozing creatures from the black. We will send them back to hell! Shut up, evil! <laughs> Kathwack. Kathwack <laughs> for seven <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage. Top of the round. Slee stack. For my team, Motabi! Nice. 17, 14, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, whittling him down. Ariana. We're like, the three of us are like covered in absolute gore <laughs> and black <laughs> blood and brain matter bones sticking out of our unmentionables Ariana Okay, I'm going to do shatter again. On the, on the bright side, you know, a crocodile is going to smell us and go, "No, I don't want any part of that." <laughs> it's true. Another shatter. <laughs> okay, top guy. I'll do top and then bottom. You need the rolling stones. Fail. And I failed both, taking ten points each. I don't know why this thing keeps rolling. Nice. Okay, now I need to make a con save for the one between Kriv and Slee Stack. Uh, he fails, and his head explodes. <laughs> and the second takes ten <laughs> points of... 10 points of damage. As that is the first time he was hit. That leaves... Um, I already pre-rolled who these guys were attacking. So that was above the shatter roll. So the D2 was this guy. And it was just like every other round. One Slee Stack, two Ander. So he turns on Ander. Missing horribly. Valence. Bats with his shield. These guys were not as formidable as the ones that were in that room. I know. Well, we gained a level. I want to blast uh, at its face. Hitting for five points of damage. Money shot in the face. Dis dislocate its lower jaw. On Plus, they had to come at us like two at a time. So. Yeah, exactly. That's now you, point. Now you can't fight me. Shut up, point, evil bitch. dude! <laughs> oh, you could have moved in. Yeah, you still yeah. hit him. That is enough to potentially, potentially kill him. However, I have an 18 DC to live. Fuck. I saw that 20 <laughs> for a second. I was like, no! As the last is... Yay, failed. we did it! Blat. Nice. As all three of us are covered in... Crap. I move here and I embrace Slee Stack and Ander, lifting them off their feet. We yes, did it, uh, my friends! Uh, we have vanquished the evil that lives in this swamp! People will no longer fear to tread here. We have retrieved our choose. missions, our mission statement, and now we must go back and fulfill it. 
the quest and, and after has been completed, shatters. and we are victorious. We few, we mighty few, have come through the blackness, seen hell's faith in our face, and we spit in its eye. Sleepstack no, 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 I pull him back. I, I jump into the water. I, I pull him back. Uh, Hope I'm not finished my, my uh, monologue. Is muted after As the I... few shatters that have <laughs> gone off. <laughs> <laughs> we together are unstoppable. We are lawful good. We, no, are say lawful good. we are good, and we stand for everything that is good in this land. This is Sparta. Oh wait. Uh, As I finally release him back into the swamp, I will jump in and wash the goo off of me. <laughs> yeah. As I go to embrace balance, I pick him up and. Embracing oh. a mighty hug. Still hurts, it still hurts. Still I hope hurts. you don't grab him by the assless chaps. And then I grab Arliana and brace <laughs> yeah, her in a mighty running. hug. <laughs> I chase her down. You cannot escape a crib hug. <laughs> you just a grapple hug. Oh, crap. It's, it's best just to take it and get it over with, then to run. Fine, I'll take it. Right, Off! Let's go. To the west. You are all gifted beyond anything I could have imagined when I first saved you from that horrible demon that held I'll you prisoner for so I'll long. Under and I cast the and clean them up. Them up. All of you are my Thank family. You for my life. <laughs> hey, no problem, dude. Although, in order for him to clean you up, he's running his hands all over your body. <laughs> <laughs> and as I'm doing that, all the junk is like, yeah, all on your junk. All your stuff is instantly clean. Yeah, Damn all, it. all your junk is instantly clean. Wow. Yeah, he just buffed your junk. <laughs> I, I well, take my morning I, star. I appreciate that. It hasn't been it hasn't been this clean in days, dude. <laughs> I do the ambiguous K zero. What? <laughs> I, I take my morning star and I hold it aloft, and then I slam it into the muck. I pull out Mr. Squeaky, and I go around and I squeak twice at each person. And as I say, as I clean? say a prayer to to Baphomet in Draconic. A prayer of uh, of um, victory. So that sweet, magic, sweet. that magic sweet, dude sweet. that sent us down sweet, here sweet. for this crown. Sweet, did sweet. he mention where he was going to be? I think the price went up. <laughs> At that, uh, <laughs> uh, you fuck. Um, no, he does not do that. Uh, yeah, I would, but I'm not going to because I don't feel like having to deal with you guys killing my imp. <laughs> yes, that would happen. I know. As um, you look <laughs> off to the... <laughs> Does he have a rattle? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, I deleted that guy off the map. Oh. Uh uh, you look off to the west as you see um, a humanoid bird approaching. Um, everyone, make me a. Oh wait, you guys are pretty fucking old. I don't. Th I don't know if you would know this race. Do hey, history. I I'm only twelve years old, man. G yeah, give me give me history rolls, everybody. Oh, I'm getting my ass gonna help a lot, dude. Well, it depends how old you have the race on this. Plane is, is the question. Your world, your truth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you people write this down for Fridays. <laughs> well, <laughs> your world, your truth. I thought you keep, keep, keep flirting. Oh, keep oh, keep oh, saying oh, shit. shit. Um, I, I'm going to assume that. Uh, actually, yeah. It's a walking uh, crow! It, it is. It, it's it's what's called a kenku. Uh, you guys have never met one, but you've heard of them. Um, I gotta find it in the book again. I just start staring at the feathers. Actually, the... Look at the feathers. <laughs> the N-word group knows what this is, because that was what was, was buried by... Saved it, yeah. Yes, that is true. But the N-word group is not here. And I appreciate you saying N-word. Yeah, we, you know, we had enough no punishment problem. for one night. <laughs> Stand back, Garliana. I will move into protective position. 
<laughs> On my back. <laughs> Does anyone have breading and oil? This could be a fine meal. Okay, yeah, uh, you, you know this. The Kenku are, are, are sentient humanoid beings. Um, you know, so again, you, you've never met one, but you know this not to be uh, an atypical monster that's going to come up and just start s slaughtering you guys for no reason. Um, you, you, you know, they are they're pretty cowardly creatures. Um, uh, but this one seems to be approaching you. Um, it, its hands are up. It, it's very defensive. Uh, its eyes are wide. Um, very scared looking actually uh as it as it approaches uh it begins it um uh, it opens up its mouth uh and it 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 crow calls like a crow what is that called a call uh, uh, it, it calls it's like Wah! and then and then it um its voice oddly changes and it says ah oh! Well done, guys. I've been waiting here for you. Watch us kill all these zombies, huh? <laughs> Crow creature, state your business. Crow creature, state your business. Yes. As it perfectly mimics Crow, his voice. Cr wait, I'm scanning the area. No, I said that. 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 As no, I said that. <laughs> Twenty minutes later, uh, <laughs> you uh, brought this upon yourself, Mark. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, the, the the creature looks down uh, again. Its hands are up. It looks down to its its belt uh, as it's got a large sack there. Uh, for some reason, Valence gets very excited. Um, <laughs> Hey, money. <laughs> Sorry, yep. Uh, as you can tell, it is full of coin. Um, and and he, he says, uh, oh, what I, I lost how this was written because I had to change this fucking creature because this was supposed <laughs> to be an imp. And I forgot Mitch said he was going to kill my imp if I, I showed totally up I would totally kill imp. it. Uh, well done. Uh, I I this Kenku here is is to deliver your payment and to retrieve the crown. Well done. This Kenku here is to retrieve. Give your <laughs> thing. Damn it! <laughs> I almost had it. As as it approaches, slowly reaching down, it untethers the the uh, uh, the sack from its uh, belt and hands it to Ander. Oh. Its hand extended, waiting for the crown. I pull out the, the silver crown in the circlet. Which one is which? I think the bigger one, I think, is it. Ah, I hand it the silver crown. Ah, uh, the actual crown, not the circlet. Yeah, the, yeah you said it was silver crown, right? Yes. Yes. So, so there were there were two things you took. One was a crown off the drowned spirit, and one was a circlet off the arcane mage. Correct. I have it okay. written down. So I, I I hold both of them because I don't know. I mean, you know, I okay, have gotcha. no idea what a crown. Uh, is. It, it it looks at it. Other than it goes um, on the head, and it 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 calls again, um, as it uh, it, it its eyes kind of roll up in its head a little bit as it snaps. Uh, looking back at you, and it says, "Well, if you guys are ever in Long Saddle and you need some work, feel free to come find me. Uh, good job, and um, yeah, enjoy spending your money." Isn't that where we're going, Long Saddle? Blazing. You are going man. to Blazingdale. Blazingdale. As the creature backs away, not not breaking eye contact. Again, very skittish, very scared. I'll look in the. I'll look in the sack. I hey. smile friendly and I wave to it. <laughs> we have uh, 500 each. We have coin here, man. Uh, it's not 500 each. There is 1,500 in the bag. 300. Ah, each. so we have 1,500 each. Agreement was. No, we have three each. Math is hard. All right. Well. Unless you guys negotiated me differently, but I remember 300 each. I don't know exactly. I remember I changed it from what it was originally. I added like another 100. I kind of negotiated did. with him. He did. But I don't remember what number. <laughs> Paul, Paul's the only one that negotiated. I just said blindly, yeah, let's yeah. go. It might have been four. Well, 
May have been four hundred. It would yeah, we'll we'll split the difference. Four hundred each. Okay. okay. Which is more money than most of you have ever seen in your entire lives. Please. I can get a new outfit. <laughs> this I is can... very shiny. Alright. Okay. Excellent. So you guys uh, statement of intent is going to make your way out of the swamp and head toward Blasingdale? Yes. Yes. Okay. Which is that way at point in the opposite direction. Uh, let's get the map out. Let's. Wasn't let's Valus our map, map guy? I'll, I'll get, get out the map. map. Okay, uh, you know if you... Uh, basically, you've got to head out the direction that you came, which is going to be to the west to get out of this swamp. And then you're going to follow this, the edge of the swamp south to the uh, trade road that runs into Blasingdale, um, and then travel east. Before we leave, I, I go to the, the edge of where this thing was, this, this crypt, and I, and I say a prayer uh, in Draconic uh, Baphomet, seal this crypt and allow the evil to rest. Let these poor souls who have been corrupted by the blackness within Finally, find peace. Squeaky, squeaky. Um, as as you are uh, praying, uh, you open your eyes, uh, watching the entrance to the crypt. As you see the swamp in this entire area uh, start to fall in in elevation, as the rest of the swamp around it rushes in, as the crypt is now buried for eternity under the swamp. Like the three castles before it. <laughs> but the fourth one will stay up. This was uh, the fourth one. <laughs> oh, the fifth one will stay up. <laughs> Someone will reveal here. <laughs> so just to give Venture okay. something to do later, I will mark this spot on the map as hidden crypt. Okay. Untold riches. There is a door we must not speak of, too. <laughs> oh my god, look who's Yay! <laughs> Oh, you freaking people. Okay. With our last 20 minutes. Totally go with Zet. I, I need to be, like, uh, condescending and sarcastic at this point. <laughs> I'm too One full of goodness. everybody. There is one. A bar fight. <laughs> there is two. There is three. And I'm going to move characters on here for just witnessing. Gotta miss that. Not so much fire, pan, and shock. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Wait, how'd they get in our magical house? Uh, they're there just so they can see the map. Oh, I see. Okay. Why am I so close to fire, pan? What the hell's going on? Threw you guys on the map. I didn't even know <laughs> this. Give me a break. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I just need a moment here. There we go. There's okay. two of me. Oh no! Oh, there's no. two of you on here. Yeah, we're up in the other room too, in the north. Oh, there. Okay, so you guys are all up there. Okay. Ah. Um. So, I, I again, I I'm way put, too close to these idiots. I I, I, I just put you in here again. Uh, okay. Uh, but th this is more going to be theater of the mind. Uh, oh, you guys, you guys have been spending uh, the last the last months uh, <laughs> really, <of> the <laughs> <laughs> really trying to figure out the inner workings of of the TARDIS, talking with George, um, studying. Um, uh, Zet, you you've talked um, your companions into or. Where the hell did we leave? We left off when you guys were like up in the mountains, wasn't that true? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. We had okay. just we had just gotten the, uh, the the one piece to move it, but not through time and space. We went that was, through that that dungeon. 
Yeah. The under mountain or something. Okay, so so you guys, um, the TARDIS itself has been at the at the base of a mountain. So so you guys haven't really been able to go out very much. Um, and explore the world. Uh, you've been spending most of your time in here, just kind of healing up, resting up. Uh, Zet, you've been reading. Uh, Friar, you've been eating. And Jacques, you've been fucking bored. <laughs> I, I um, like how you use that, <laughs> that metaphor. <laughs> um, but Zet's happy, and you know, hey. Uh, Is he, though? Yeah, he might be. Um, we're going to fast forward a little bit to uh, something that happens. I'll do my exercises, all nice and oiled up. <laughs> One, uh, two. You might not want to do that with Valence in here. Yeah, there you go, man. Or though he may <laughs> want to do that. Uh, so you guys have been undisturbed for quite a bit of time. Uh, in Friar Pan, uh, everyone's going to go to their bedrooms. I think yours is the one with the food in it. Zet's the one with the books in it. And Jacques is the one with the weird stuff in it. <laughs> um, that took a lot of time to find those little things, by the way. Those dildos <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> so, Zet, you are, you've woken up early. I got because... many questioning looks from my wife for that, Jacques. So I hope you're happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> you've been waking up early and going to bed late because you've been spending your time reading out of the masses of libraries that uh, books that George has been bringing you. Um, again, everything that is cre that what you guys find out is anything that is created within the TARDIS must stay in the TARDIS unless right. it's material brought from the outside. So if you were to bring in raw ing ingots and George was to make you a sword. You could take the sword outside. However, if you said, George, go make me a sword, without giving him materials from outside, he would make you a sword. However, once you walk, once you go outside with it, it no longer exists. So, so, so there's... That's there's, why Jacques' room looks like it does. Yes. Um, <laughs> however, all of you have been noticing that Jacques has just, he's obviously not been himself. Uh, he's been stuck in here. Um, he's he's uh, he's ventured out uh, into the mountains a little bit. Um, however, it is very treacherous. There's a lot of snow, um, so he's you could tell he's just he's like a caged fucking animal. That's um, not good. Prior pain, uh, watch your ass. Literally. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Just still my exercises, my mirror. Uh, this king. <laughs> so, uh, so is that one of the mornings that you're you're up very early reading, you hear a knock coming from the common room, What's and it's it's obviously something that I mean you're startled from it. Yes. Okay. Uh, I will go check it out. Okay, as you go into the common room, uh, you see this small door that George always goes into uh, when, he, when he retires from the evening. Uh, he enters in his small clothes, which is weird because he's a little gray android-looking guy yeah. who's wearing a sleeping cap. As he looks up to you and he says, um, Master Zet, I did not know you were expecting company. I wasn't. Uh, that was the front door. How can someone knock on the front door? I'll come walking in. He, he, well, no, 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 well, 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 no, no, oh. no, 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 no. He, he looks kind of, he looks up <laughs> um, as almost like he's processing information. And he kind of, his eyes go really wide. As he doesn't say anything. What awaits us at the front door? You, uh, his eyes look up as you follow them. Um, the ceiling of this area um, over the last month as the TARDIS has been healing and growing. Um, the, uh, the room here has become arched. And in the center of the room, there is a glass dome that allows you to look outside. So if you were, si if, if, if your TARDIS was in the alley of 
water deep, you would see the awnings of the build building above you. So it allows you to see where you're at, at least what's outside. Um, so you've been looking at the peak of a snowy mountain for about the last month. However, it has changed. You're now looking at a bright, cloudless, blue sky with a blazing, uh, you see the, uh, uh, a, 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 basically a summer sun, a big, huge, warm sun. You immediately know that you are no longer in the mountains. Alert the others. I will tend to the door. Yes, y yes, yes, sir. Uh, as as he scuttles off uh, down into uh, the hallway where the bedrooms are. Uh, do you wait for them to approach, or do you go to the door? Well, the front door is here, right? Up here. Um. That should be our interest. Yes, correct. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on this side of the door and and close those doors. And I'm gonna move to here and and see if it if the knocking continues or not. Yes, the knocking is incessant, as if oh, somebody trying knows to get in. Somebody's trying to get in. Gotcha. Okay. Then yeah, I'll wait for the other two. Okay. So, uh, Friar, uh, you see uh, there is a knock at your door um, as uh, you open your eyes. There's a second knock at your door. Uh, oh. What do you want? I'm trying to eat my dinner. Uh, ma Master, uh, uh, Master Pan, uh, it is I, George. Um, it seems that uh, Zet... Uh, uh, Master Zet is in need of your um, acknowledgement that there is somebody at the front door. Oh, maybe it's that pizza I ordered. Better go check. <laughs> okay. You make your way out as there is a knock at Jock's door and a second <laughs> knock at Jock's door. Uh, Jacques, you are unable to speak right now. <laughs> He's got a ball gag in his mouth. Okay. Two fingers deep. So about 30 seconds later, Zet, you see Friar Pan walking out, and he sleeps naked as most really... I don't know. I just envision Friar Pan sleeping naked. So he's walking through. All. <laughs> well, in that case, can you actually pull my new icon on? on? No. no. Please, no. <laughs> oh my god! I, I don't know if this is set up as the token. Yeah, it's not set up as the t as the token. Oh, well, I, I I don't think I can do that. Can I? No, Mark. I'll I'll crack open the door. Hello? Uh, nope. You cannot. Oh, you are tied up with a ball gag. <laughs> and it'll fit soon, so hold on. Uh, Zed, after about 30 seconds, Friar Pan waddles out um, in his uh, birthday suit um, as he is, for some reason, eating chicken wings again for breakfast <laughs> at, at 7 in the morning. Um, it's third breakfast. What do you want? <laughs> as you're turning over your shoulder and you do, do not, not see... Uh, Jacques coming. Where's Jacques? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. boom. Let's just come in. Boom, 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 boom. Would you like a chicken wing? They're delicious. No. R rattle, 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 rattle. So oh, it's no. just, it's just <laughs> Attack. All right. Um. I will uh, use my mage hand to open the door, ready a spell. Okay, you open the door, and you see uh, a female 
dressed in what appears to be uh, hoplite armor. Uh, it is nice. Embo- it is embossed- Thank God Jacques's not here. It is embossed in gold, uh, finery. Um, she carries a shield uh, as well as a long purple cloak. She's got a flowing mane of golden hair. She stands uh, almost close to six feet tall. Um, Again, a well-toned body. As she pulls off her uh, hoplite helmet, looking at you, as she looks inside over your shoulder into the expanse behind you, as she kind of leans back looking around, both of you notice in the background there is la- there is a beach with lapping waves you hear the sounds of tropical birds you feel a, 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 a warm summer breeze and you also see a paddle boat that is beached about 30 feet away from you and you look beyond that and there is a three-masted ship anchored what appears to be on the other side of the reef of turquoise blue waters. Think freaking Caribbean paradise. <laughs> okay. Please give me a an investigation roll. Um, before that, Mark, um, Friar Pan looks down, and for the first time in a decade, he can see the tip of his junk sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> it is very well worth it. Woohoo! What am I rolling here? Investigation, please. Oh, yeah, I'll be real good at this. Okay. Kriv, or Zet. Thank you. (laughs) Sorry. Um, You only wanted those two, right? Looking, yes, those two. Uh, Looking at the... Oh, I'm sorry. Also, over the shoulder... Uh, standing uh, behind the woman uh, approaches uh, what appears to be someone uh, a, a male who is uh, walking with her um, he is also uh, dressed in the same armor with the same embroidery on it uh, however a masculine form of it um, he stands just a few inches taller than her however he has got a very stern look on his face uh, looking around in amazement as he also peers into this area a uh, crib does uh, he enter? Fuck. No, he does not enter. Nor does slam the door in his face. Well, she's behind. There. Does that help? You slam the door in her face. Uh, well, she. Oh, I thought she walked uh, in. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. She oh, oh, looked okay. in in amazement. Um, uh, Who are you? You, you get what do you a want? Dis- you get a distinct feeling. You recognize this beach. You've been here before. Um, Zed has. It looks awfully similar to the base of the volcano you were at months ago on the oh. edge of the jungle. Okay. Um, as, uh, I mean, you kind of, you kind of blink a little bit as, as again, this, the, the, the female warrior, um, she, she finally gets out of her stupor and she says where is he where is who where is Jacques I know he's here I don't know how he's here I don't know why he's here but I know he's here what is your as, 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 as she attempts to step in do not enter until invited would you like a chicken wing I will take that as an invitation as she attempts to push past you. I look at Friar where, where is he as she approaches to you? Um, the male attempts to follow behind her. Stay out. As, as he, he stops as she turns to him and she nods and he does not take a step further. Would you Who put you? that thing away and take me to him? Who are you? What do you want with Jacques? I just sit there eating chicken and, and licking my fingers. She turns to you, Zet, realizing she's not going to get any further. 
He is my brother. What? <laughs> I, I raise an eyebrow. How is this possible? I have lots of questions about that myself. Where is my brother? What is your name? Amazingly enough, I have not named myself. <laughs> and you do not you, share You don't the seem last to speak the same his... as Jacques. Oh, amazingly sister. enough, I have not named myself, but... <laughs> Beefy! Put your weapons I, I am, in the corner. I am... I am Amelia. Put your weapons in the corner and we shall summon Jacques. She turns and hands him to the fat fryer. Hands her. Uh, she's got a spear in her hand that she hands to the fat fryer. I have to put. Uh, um, okay, I will take the spear and put it in the corner. Get I'll shot. Put, put it over here in the corner. Uh, I will waddle on over. She follows. Uh, no, you, 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 you wait here. I will go get you. Have a seat on our couch. Make yourselves comfortable. She sits that on your couch? Yeah. Yeah. That means something is that... Uh, at this, uh, actually, you guys do notice a striking similarity as she says what she said. Uh, definitely between the hair uh, and some of the facial features. That's your say. I'll yes. come over here and bang on Jacques' door. Okay. You bang on the door. You hear a giggling coming from inside. <laughs> yes. hey. Jacques, come to the door. There is no response as you hear the pattering of feet. As the door is opened a jar as in front of you uh, you see a completely naked Amazon <laughs> queen um, uh, and she's not sheepish about her body as you look at her female form uh, she's about six one um, again a, 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 a mighty in, in in her in her own right um, and she is just exotic and gorgeous you look over your shoulder as you see Jacques uh, bound to the wall he's got a ball gag in his mouth he is completely naked <laughs> And she has a feather in her hand. He also <laughs> has a raging hard boner. <laughs> um, he's preoccupied. Uh, again, you have no idea where this woman come, came from. <laughs> However, you definitely <laughs> recognize her as the queen of that Amazonian tribe that you guys had saved from the T-Rex. <laughs> oh, for the second time in a decade, I look down and see my junk for once. Uh, I will say, uh, it is important I must speak to uh, Jacques. Could you please uh, unharness him? As she opens the door, um, looks seductively over her shoulder at you, uh, oh, walks God. to the wall, and uh, unmanticles him. Sure. Okay, Jacques? Uh, she pulls the ball gag out reluctantly. <laughs> As she lays down on your bed. Uh, uh hello? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jacques, uh, Zet needs you, uh... Uh, Jacques, last night you decided you just couldn't take this anymore. Um... You've been spending time with, obviously, Zet the Friar and George to learn how the transportation system works. Last night, you had a breaking point. So you had the wonderful idea that you're <laughs> sick and tired of being in the mountains. And the first woman you thought about was that Queen of the Amazons. So you worked the system, 
and you transported the TARDIS to the beach outside of their kingdom. I'm pretty sure you would have had to drug me. <laughs> it's all story. All right. Okay. Uh, Jacques? Fair enough. Uh, Zet needs you in the front room. Apparently your sister is here. Ah, of course. Zet. Yeah. What? <laughs> There is a attractive woman who uh, is claiming ah, to be your no sister. One woman. Yeah. I'll go and I'll uh, I'll dress in my. Don't you worry about it. My uh, <laughs> my fine. Your Hugh Hefner robe. <laughs> Don't forget the pipe, man. Smoking jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Lead on, Friar. Uh, the Amazonian queen slips into the bath. Uh, oh, no, please, after you. And I will open the door up. And as he leaves, I will slam the door closed and <laughs> head for the bath. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Seth Rogen in uh, 40 Year Old Virgin. <laughs> hey, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, as you exit into the common room, you see your sister look at you um, as there's excitement as well as anger as she stands up. Jacques, where have you been? Jacques, do you know this woman? As, as uh. a tear rolls down her face as she runs and embraces you. She is definitely your older sister. I think she looks like it. I mean, do I have a sister? You do, according to this story. Yay! Okay. <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> now you have to speak French. Uh, bon bonjour, brother, as she kisses you on the cheeks. Parlez-vous souffle? Eh, comment allez-vous? Uh, French fry? <laughs> where, where have you been? I've been traveling for months to get to this spot. How, where, what is this? Shock, who is this woman? Evidently it's my sister. <laughs> that I've just met, according <laughs> to the <this> story. <laughs> My long lost sister, which I have not seen since I was a little boy. I what, think. what what is what your backstory you again? You, uh, you're not you're not like an orphan or anything, right? Uh no. Uh soldier out of uh the kingdom of Leon. Gotcha. Yes. What did you do? Why are we in a different place? I decided to uh a change of scenery. You decided. None of us make individual decisions. Why did you not come to me or Friar Pen first? Because the DM willed it so. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man! You got to role play it out. Fair enough. I can't. I can't argue that. <laughs> this is. I regular. felt this otherworldly urge to go you somewhere, and your urges are going to get us killed. Now, send this woman on her way. We have much work to do. Ah. If you are truly Jacques' sister, you understand that he is a busy person. Excuse me. I understand. Father is dying. Everyone dies. It is part of life. Ah. Well, uh, send him my best. <laughs> That's my boy right there. <laughs> and there goes yet another one of Mark's plots right there in the toilet. <laughs> As she falls to her knees crying, crawling her way out of the TARDIS. I hate you guys. <laughs> Paul's like, oh, you're going to make up stories about me? I'm going to fuck this one. <laughs> Me and my father were not very close. <laughs> <laughs> as, as she exits closing the door, you make your way back to your room. 
That door is locked. <laughs> Just a minute, John. Why are we here? Why are we on this beach with the volcano? I may or may not have invited somebody in a sad. Send her uh. home. We have work to do. <laughs> she is home. <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, as, as you enter the room, the friar is now uh, in the hot bath with her. <laughs> and She's like crushed up against the wall. He's a hero also, so, you know, hey. It's pretty weird he's doing that in your own tub, but... Yeah, he rolls with it. <laughs> and, and about 50 rolls. And rolls, and rolls, and rolls. Pardon moi, friar. That says she must go. Uh, again, you mean? Oh, wait, what? Uh, pardonnez-moi, madame, but, uh, you need to go. <laughs> I'll go and I'll grab her clothes and throw it at her. <laughs> you may leave now. <laughs> you, you grab the two uh, bikini pieces um, <laughs> as, as she gets out and she puts them on. Uh, she uh, embraces you uh, with a very passionate kiss, uh, touching your manhood again as she looks to the friar and winks. And, Is she uh, walking very bow-legged at this point? And, and walks out. Um, she does the walk of shame, but she's a queen, so there is no shame as she walks Until by. Until my eyes fall upon her as I'm <laughs> holding the door open. And e even that, I mean, she is quite a looker. Um, as she walks her way out, as she sees <laughs> the female version of of Jacques uh, entering or getting in um, uh, her little dinghy. It's weird to say. Uh, paddling out to the ship that brought her here. Welcome I, I, to 30 I, minutes of roleplay. I, I, well, I, I say to... Uh, actually, I'll say to his sister before she leaves. I'll say, Was the reason for your visit to tell him of his father's impending death? Uh, she does not even turn around to respond to you. Do you okay. still need me, Mark, or can I go? Then I will shut the Oh, door. no, you can go, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was right, just, just, yeah, good night, man. Good night, man. This was just a bonus episode, because I know Mitch ah. said he wanted to play these guys. Understood. Huh? User disconnected from your channel. I will shut the door, As, sigh heavily, okay. and then go to maneuver us somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> just a taste. Hey, Friar Pink got a little taste. I was gonna say like, whoa, you're putting like third level characters with ninth level characters. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Um, those guys are out. Yeah, both of them are out. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. I was okay. just, I was tossing something so in here sign for out. for a potential.